Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm very excited to do an intro for a year-long project pan that I'm going to be working on in 2019. I am calling it the Nine Pan 19 because I've seen some other projects where people try to do like 19 in 2019, or I feel like I'm not at a point where I'm that good at panning where I could finish up 19 things in a year. So what I'm doing is nine pans. So I actually have two products and between the two of them, there are nine full pans of product that I am gonna to try to completely use up by the end of 2019. So before we jump into this quick little introduction, I hope if you like this video, you'll give it a thumbs up if you can't wait to see how this project is going to unfold in 2019. And if you haven't and you'd like to, I really hope you would consider subscribing so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. This is the very same look that I am wearing in my introduction for my Pan That Palette 2019. So if you missed that, I will throw that up in the cards. I am trying to film all of like my project pan intros in one day, just so that we can get a fresh start in 2019, because I'm so excited to do all of these new projects. Like I have so many projects and so many ideas, and I just feel very, very inspired. And I feel so excited for this new year even more so than normal like i always love new years but like i just ah i'm really excited so the first product that i really want to pan and this has six pans in it this is the kat von d shade and light contour palette this palette has six pans we have three highlighting pans and we have three contouring slash bronzing pans in here there are the three shades for the highlighters were originally three separate shades, but I did pick up an extra of the lightest shade and I replaced it because that last shade was really, really orange, which works well for deeper skin tones. But on me, there was no way I could really use that shade. So I picked up an extra of that lightest shade and I just popped it out because this is actually really easy to depot. There are different little holes in here where you can just put a little paper clip in and actually depot these super easily which I'm probably going to do at some point during this year if I'm being honest because this is very bulky packaging especially if I'm going to try to reach for this every day so I did replace just that shade right over here and currently I only have pan in this first light shade up here this was very shocking pan because I wasn't actually planning on like working on this palette until 2019 but I accidentally hit pan in that shade in like December. So we are starting off with pan right there. So this is where my pan is starting. I can use all of these bronzing and contouring shades in this palette. I can use this middle shade for bronzing my cheeks and my forehead, which I am wearing today. This very, very deep shade on the end I can use for an intense contour, also wearing today. And this light shade up here is just a regular, nice, everyday, subtle contour. So I would really, really like to use up all of this by the end of 2018, or 2018, 2019, because I am trying to work through all of my Kat Von D products. I 100% do not support her anymore. It began with her anti-vax statements, vaccinate your kids, get your vaccinations, please. But before that, I actually had no idea about the rest of her surprising past, how she is very like a very anti-semite and how her husband actually has a swastika tattooed on his neck just very problematic in general so i'm no longer supporting kat von d but i am trying to use up the products that i have left since i did purchase these months before i was aware of how problematic that she and her brand were so that product has six pans of the nine pans that I'm hoping to finish in 2019. The next product that has those three pans is from ABH. And this is an ABH blush trio that I really like. I know it's very hard to not only hit pan on a blush, but use up a blush. So that's why I'm giving myself a year to use up this blush. This is the Blush Trio in Peachy Love. And if you've seen my channel for any length of time, you'll know how much I love peach blushes uh, this trio is very nice i just the only thing is that you're not going to be able to get your brush into one of these little 
things. So for the most part, I do like to combine these blushes. These two right over here are matte, and this one is very shimmery and light. But I do love the effect when I mix two or even all three of these together. So this is where I'm starting with these pans. I honestly don't have a big dip in these. I honestly don't think I have any dip in any sort of blush product that I own. <laughs> so I think it is very smart to give myself a full year to use up these blushes because it's probably going to take me that long to use these up. Peach looks very nice on my complexion. I used to be so afraid of blush before I figured out like peach blushes existed. They just look really nice on me. I love these shades and I feel like this is a blush that I can reach for every day. So those are my nine pans that I want to finish in 2019. This is going to be a year-long project, like I said, so of course I will be updating monthly along with my Pan That palette for 2019. I can't wait to get started on these products and I can't wait to see where 2019 is going to take us. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope if you like this intro, you'll give it a thumbs up and let me know down below if you're going to be panning any products in 2019. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.